Welcome to our new course, Redshift Masterclass, your complete guide to Redshift for Cinema 4D. This course is the result of four months of hard work and dedication and I'm excited to finally share it with you. With 18 hours of on-demand videos and 88 carefully structured lessons, this comprehensive course covers every aspect of Redshift for Cinema 4D, ensuring you gain a complete and thorough understanding of this amazing render engine. Every minute of every video is thoughtfully planned and designed to provide you with the best possible learning experience. You can expect the same high quality content that you've come to love from Ograph Plus. We'll keep the course updated, new videos will be added to the course whenever new versions of Redshift are released. Now let's dive deeper into the course content. We begin the course by introducing Redshift for Cinema 4D, showing you where to find its various tools and functions, and guiding you through the general workflow to accomplish basic tasks with Redshift. In the next section, we delve into the world of lighting. You'll learn the foundational principles of lighting and explore Redshift's unique lighting tools, including area light, mesh light, spot light, infinite light, IES light, dome light, image-based lighting, and Redshift sun and sky. We'll guide you through interior and exterior lighting in Redshift and show you how to create amazing volumetric effects with Redshift environment. You'll also learn how to seamlessly integrate 3D geometries into HDRI environments and photographic backplates. To solidify your understanding, we'll work through practical examples such as lighting a complex interior scene and setting up a product photography shot. By the end of this section, you'll have mastered the art of lighting in Redshift, from fundamental principles to advanced techniques. In section 3, we'll explore global illumination or indirect lighting, learning how light behaves in the real world and how Redshift simulates this behavior. We'll then dive into Redshift's GI engines like Brute Force and Irdian's Point Cloud. You'll learn how to choose the right engine for different lighting scenarios, understanding their advantages and disadvantages. Finally, we'll cover techniques for rendering flicker free animations with GI. In the next section of the course, we'll explore Redshift materials and nodes. Not only will you learn about all the specific Redshift materials, but you'll also gain a solid understanding of the core shading principles and advanced techniques in shader creation. We'll start with the Redshift standard material, a powerful shader that can create virtually any material you can imagine. Through nine in-depth lessons, you'll learn to harness its full potential. Then we will explore bump and displacement mapping in Redshift to create realistic surface details. Next, I will show you a streamlined method to shader creation using the standard material. You will learn how to create common materials like plastic, fabric, wood, concrete, metal, and more. You will also learn to create lifelike human skin shaders using the Redshift standard material. We'll also explore the principled hair shader, an easy to use tool for creating stunning hair shaders. In addition to photorealistic rendering, you'll learn about stylized rendering with Redshift's tone shading capabilities. You'll learn how to create unique cartoon-like visuals by controlling tone mapping, line thickness, shading styles, and more. We will discover how to enhance our 3D renders with custom decals and stickers using Redshift's versatile material system. We'll learn how to randomize textures, colors, and UVs in Redshift using various techniques and nodes. We explore how to read and render MoGraph and filled colors with Redshift, and also how to render the new Cinema 4D particles with Redshift. We discuss the incredible capabilities of the distance shader in Redshift, and also learn how to leverage vertex maps within the Redshift shading context to control material behaviors with precision. We then learn about Material Blender, Color Layer, Mix, and Composite nodes, along with detailed discussions on Ray Switch, Shader Switch, Tri Planner, Ambient occlusion, curvature, and sprite shaders. Additionally, we'll cover the OSL shader, Substance 3D material, carping material, and almost every single Redshift node. By the end of this section, which includes 32 videos, you should be very comfortable developing complex shaders in Redshift and gain the ability to craft a diverse range of materials from the mundane to the extraordinary in Redshift. Next, we dive into everything you need to know about cameras and how to use them in Redshift. We begin by thoroughly exploring the Redshift camera, focusing on how to adjust fundamental aspects such as focal length, sensor size, exposure, and more. Then we'll learn how to add depth of field and motion blur to enhance the visual appeal of our renders by adjusting aperture, focal distance, and shutter speed. We also learn about working with different camera types like fisheye, spherical, and stereospherical, and how to prepare VR ready renders in Redshift. We discuss adding camera distortion and various lens effects such as bloom, glare, and chromatic aberration. Additionally, we cover post-processing and color correction techniques, exploring how to use these features to enhance the look and feel of our renders. In the next section, we focus on rendering with Redshift, covering the fundamentals of image sampling and ray tracing. We begin by exploring how to use the basic mode of the Redshift render settings. Next, we delve into automatic and custom sampling in depth. I'll then show you practical setups for custom sampling across various scenes to reinforce the theories we have covered. Then we'll discuss the key differences between bucket and progressive rendering methods. Next, we take a closer look at Redshift RT, 
Redshift's real-time interactive render engine. Then we talk about ACES, a system to manage color in all levels of the production. You will learn what ACES is and how it works, how to set it up properly in Redshift for Cinema 4D, and how to deal with ACES managed renders in post. You will also see some examples comparing ACES and the traditional color space and why ACES is just way better. Next, we talk about the Redshift's render view, exploring all of its features in detail. We also cover Optics, OIDN, and Altus Denoisers, providing numerous comparative examples to showcase their effectiveness. Next, we'll learn about the AOVs in depth. You will discover the purpose and content of each AOV and how to export them properly for post-processing. We cover custom AOVs, the CryptoMat workflow, and Light Group AOVs, as well as compositing AOVs in Fusion, including the Back to Beauty composite with Beauty AOVs and the Light Mix composite for post-production relighting. We also explore how to handle caustics in Redshift, covering both available caustics engines, brute force and photon mapping, to achieve both soft and sharp caustics effects. The rest of the render settings will be explained as well in a few videos. In the next section, we take a closer look at a few miscellaneous topics like Redshift Proxy, Object Tag, Dealing with Particles and Splines and much more. We also learn about Redshift Volume, Volume Material and Standard Volume Material. I'll guide you through the entire process of rendering Cinema 4D Pyro simulations and OpenVDB files in Redshift, enabling you to create stunning clouds, fire, smoke and explosions. If you want to learn Redshift for Cinema 4D, this is the course to get. This is the ultimate course for mastering Redshift for Cinema 4D. We have dedicated tremendous effort to ensure our courses are of the highest quality, providing you with a well-organized, academically-oriented program that will elevate your creative career to new heights. This is our 24th online course here at MoGraph Plus in the past decade. We have had thousands of students from around the globe participate in our courses. I invite you to join them and learn from the best Redshift course available online. So sign in or sign up and let's get started.